What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. Welcome to a stunning day in the UK in November. It is absolutely freezing, my hands are about to fall off. However, blue sky. So uh, I'm excited about today and I have come out here. Uh, this is where I started my video when I collected my Lamborghini LP560. And I don't think I've been out here on YouTube since. Now this video and the next few videos have got nothing to do with Lamborghinis. However, they are incredibly exciting. It is about a last minute road trip that I had no idea was gonna happen until about last week. You may remember that I uploaded a living with an AMG GTS video. And my last stop on that video was headed to the Ford UK headquarters where I was invited to the Go Further event in Cologne, Germany that was taking place on Tuesday evening. Now this video is going live at Tuesday 5 p.m. but I'm filming this on Monday morning uh, the day before so you can tell how sort of last minute this is. I think my Uber is outside. Because this was so last minute Ford offered to fly me out on the Tuesday morning, attend the event in the evening and fly back Wednesday afternoon and I said can I drive? <laughs> which at the time sounded like a very cool idea but thinking about it now I may have bit off more than I can chew there are a few factors which I'm going to explain once I collect the car that I'm going to have to take into consideration I'm not going to be driving alone I'm going to be having a co-pilot as well again more that I will explain in the car uh, but I definitely think my uber is here so um, en route to Brentford to collect this chariot that is going to take me to Cologne and uh, then I'm going to explain more So after the world's longest Uber, I'm here. Not the greatest sign, probably cover it up, but I'm at the Press Car Depot. My car is just around the corner, and it is a pretty awesome looking car, if I say so myself, perfect for this challenge that I have sort of got myself into. Um, it is the Ford Edge Titanium, 180 PS. It is a two liter diesel manual, and it comes in a stunning color. Check this out. Oh, here we go. We are in the Ford Edge Titanium 2 litre diesel all wheel drive six speed manual. This is the largest Ford SUV that you can buy in the UK. And I have to say, the interior is finished absolutely beautifully. We've got an awesome center console to start with. We've got very nice different combination of Alcantara, leather, stitching, and the center console has got a really nice sort of swoopy, sporty sort of feel to it. And it's telling me that we've got 440 miles until the tank is empty, which I think we could potentially do this entire trip in one tank of fuel. If that is the case, that is pretty damn good. And uh, Ford have provided me with all sorts of exciting information and stuff. I know that this is not a Lamborghini like I sort of started the um, video, but what have we got here? We've got the nice alloy wheels, they're very nice. Uh, we've got the sport styling, body styling, sport suspension, adaptive steering, uh, front and rear parking sensors, we've got a 12 speaker surround sound, that's going to be good because there's going to be three of us here, so uh, that's, yeah, we're going to have a party. The coolest thing about this car for me is the paint, and this is a premium paint job, it is Electric Spice, that is the name. If that is not the coolest name ever for a colour, then I don't know what is, Electric Spice, is that right? But I've just made that up. First impressions of the Ford Edge is that it is incredibly easy to get used to the gearbox. The biting point is very nice, the uh, clutch is, feels quite springy but also easy to control. But you just are sitting so much higher than the cars that I'm used to driving or even sitting in. And my girlfriend Citroen is just a tiny little city car so you're still sitting quite low. Alcantara on the inserts, it's amazing. This is gonna be very, very comfortable. Hopefully we can just stick it in cruise control and enjoy the Autobahn. We can, oh, the Autobahn. What's the top speed on this thing? The top speed is 124 miles an hour. We're gonna test that. 
Come on, Edge! And I have found sixth gear. We are on the M4, out of London. We're gonna hit the M25, and then I'm gonna get home, summarize this car, my first impressions, but now is the perfect opportunity to talk about some of the difficulties that we could face tomorrow on this challenge that is so last minute that there are only a handful of amount of Euro tunnel crossings that we were able to book into that would allow us to get to Germany with time to spare before we actually have to get the shuttle from the hotel to the event. So let's rattle through some of the things that we could encounter and face that could screw our entire journey. And first of all is the M25 because I have had to book this car into an eight o'clock ferry, 8 a.m. ferry tomorrow morning. First of all, I'm gonna have to leave my house at around 4 a.m. to pick Steve up from his Surrey house. Now, that's the first problem. Because I live in Watford, I have the choice of going north or south, dependent on the traffic when I get on the Euro tunnel. Sometimes I go north over the Dartford crossing because there's no traffic. Sometimes there's traffic at the Dartford crossing and not much traffic around the Heathrow area that I go around the south. But tomorrow, I'm gonna to be enduring the Heathrow and Gatwick section of the M25 in rush hour. Once we get that, we are gonna be hitting France at about half past nine. I am not accustomed to French rush hour times, or if they have it at all. So we're gonna be passing through France, Belgium, notorious for traffic, Netherlands and Germany, and hitting Cologne at all sorts of random times of the day. If there is a traffic jam, that could screw us. So tomorrow, I am a man on a mission. Could work, could epically fail. We, 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 we could have, we could have flown. It would have taken us an hour and a half to get to Cologne from London Heathrow. But we've decided to endure a six without traffic, potentially who knows how long it could be. But the odds are stacked against us. Is the Edge going to be the car that gets us to the event on time? I've nearly made it back home, but I thought rather than just go back home and do a boring sign off, like I've, I've driven this car now for about an hour and I have to say it's a very nice, comfortable car to drive. The interior is a massive surprise to me. It's actually incredibly luxurious. And the entire car, like styling wise, is very, very cool for an SUV. It's different. Ford have definitely gone their own way in terms of design. They haven't tried to copy anyone. And I absolutely love the rear of the car, but, I've come here because it's an all-wheel drive car. I don't think you're allowed to do what I'm about to do, but I'm gonna go off-roading a little bit and then sign off in the woods. Okay, I wanna get over there. So it's gonna be a case of, I think, just driving straight. Let's give this a go. Oh, come on. Bit of bit of noise, bit of undercarriage. It's only grass, and here we are. Hey, <laughs> whoa! Hey, we are on the grass. Park and Spencer's going nuts. Look at this autumn at its best. Oh, ow. bumpy. There we go, Ford's all-wheel drive SUV off-road using the all-wheel drive system. I thought that I would sort of ease myself in in terms of difficulty. Tomorrow, my wake-up alarm is at 3.30, so I may as well not get sleep and I'm gonna be running off Red Bull tomorrow. But I'm very excited. The challenge is set by Ford and by me, so who knows whether we can do it or not. It is gonna be a lot of fun. The next two days, I'm gonna be on the road, so I'm driving to Cologne tomorrow. Fingers crossed I actually attend the event. And then Wednesday, we're driving home so I'm probably going to vlog over the next couple of days there's some exciting stuff to come including the brand new Ford Fiesta ST which I'm very much looking forward to seeing so that's happening tomorrow um, and then Wednesday yeah it's just going to be the vlog of driving home and then when I get back there is a ton of stuff happening with the BMW M3 um, that I just cannot wait to start filming so um, yeah with that being said please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already I'm going to jump back in this car now because it is absolutely freezing and I will see you tomorrow at half past three. God help me. Now we're going to have to get out of this somehow. Let's try and work out how we can get back onto the road. Well, that goes into a footpath. 
and uh, there's a Ferrari there. <laughs> I'm not going to risk trying to go over that Ferrari there. My uh, parking sensors are going mental. Do you reckon this is a good place? Just joining the road. Oh, I think there's a bit of a bit of a drop there. Smashed it! What a car! <laughs> Couldn't have done that in that California. But the Ford Edge. Oh. 